Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you that how you can add add to cart button in your collection page. So currently on my screen you can see that I have few products listed here and in each of the product I have add to cart button. So this is really simple, you have no need to worry about the coding, you only need to copy and paste the code and then you are done. So let me show you how you can do step by step. So currently you can see that these add to cart buttons are working fine. If I am refreshing this page then these uh, buttons would disappear because I will be showing you step by step that how you can add these add to cart button by your own. So let's get started. First of all, I wanted to mention you that I have written a blog post here. I have also given some uh, steps to follow. So you need to follow the steps along with my video, which I am uh, continuing right now. So in that way, you could easily do the things by your own without hiring anyone. So let's go to the dashboard of the Shopify store. If you are using any other theme, then still this code will work. But only thing is that you need to find that, that specific right place. So if you are not able to find that place then I will help you out uh, because you can connect me. Uh, I will be adding the contact details below in the description. So uh, this is the dashboard and let's go to actions. Then we have edit code and here we will be seeing some folders and files where we will be doing uh, a little customization. You can see that we have some folders like layout, templates. So click on templates. And for say example, I am interested to do some changes in collection. So here you have collection.liquid and inside of it collection template, click on this small arrow and then you will scroll it down and you will find somewhere like product dash loop. So click on this small arrow and then you will find out these uh, lines of code and here we have product thumbnail product dash thumbnail click on this small arrow again and then you will find this specific file in in this file we are going to copy and paste the code so here is the code actually so I'm going to copy this code from here and let me paste it down below here we have the anchor tag this actually link and just below this I'm going to paste my own code that is super simple let me save these changes and let's refresh this page again now you can see that uh, the same thing is reflected here I mean add to cart button is working now so you can see that these changes are happening only because of uh, adding these lines of code so this is quite simple for example you are interested to show the uh, qu quantity box here also so how you can do that is you can actually uh, write here instead of hidden you can write here number so once you are writing number and then saving the change changes let me refresh this page again and here we go you can see that here we have input box to increase the uh, quantity of uh, this specific product for example four and something like that so in that way you can actually uh, write this but this is looking little ugly so i am going to keep it as it is hidden and let me refresh this page again and now we are good to go. So for example in my cart this is empty for now. Let me add this specific product. Click on add to cart and then here we go. You can see that this product is added to cart. Alright so here we have uh, we had the empty cart and now this product is added. So that means this is working fine. If you are thinking that this is not working in your uh, store then you can uh, connect me. You can ask me the question below in the comment section or maybe you can message me on the whatsapp. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video. Don't forget to like the video and also subscribe this channel.